So here we go. The cutest little tiny home. There's John up high. And in here is the bathroom, which is very spacious. Got a full shower. This opens out to a bed. Got work area. We've got kitchen. We've got really high ceilings. And then come in here. We've got the bedroom. Again, so spacious. You've got gorgeous mountain views. A little washer dryer. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Now that is vertical, huh? And we're in this little cocoon. Super cute. And there you have the view below. Sunspot. Got out doing a little hiking. I'm actually not that high up. I climbed a rock so you can see the beautiful collegiate peaks behind me. Yeah, so good. We're around 8,000 feet and really getting my oxygen challenged. So before I came on this trip, I declared to John and the universe, I said, I request to see a bald eagle while we are here. And I was just lying down on the rocks, staring up at the sky and the bald eagle came. Oh, and he was just swooping and soaring above my head and it totally brought me tears. But we can really interact with nature, right? And the universe and play with making requests, saying what you wanna see and then being open to however that experience unfolds. One thing I always do is hug trees. I really, really do. And then I hold my hand to rocks just to connect more deeply with nature when I'm out in it. sunbathing, getting that sunshine <laughs> while it is out. Oh, it's so good for us to have just some sun on the skin, especially in the winter. So this is very typical of me. I completely overshot my way back to the hike and I can't get over the river. There's no bridges and I have no idea where I missed my um, crossover. Ah. Uh, so I'm turning around, heading back. This is why I always hike with my phone and usually with other people because this, I don't know, I was probably vlogging and missed my whatever. So stay tuned. <laughs> I made it. I went about the mile, a mile in the wrong way, but I turned around, found my bridge and I'm back. Just on a walk with the deer. <laughs> you guys gonna go get a cocktail too? <laughs> Curry and cocktail pairing. Veggies. Lots of veggies. I'm 
I'm sitting down. It's early in the morning. I've got some coffee and I am about to do my weekly planning. And this is just a way to kind of recap the previous week and really get prepared for the upcoming week. It's a very powerful practice that my friend Kimmy taught me. So every morning I send a voice memo to my magical morning partner, Candace. And I'm still on vacation and I decided to send her the voice memo while I'm out on a walk. I love this practice of sending a daily voice memo. It's called Magical Morning. And we say um, what we'll have done by the end of the day. We talk about a future vision that we have, like in the future, like maybe a year from now or more. And then we also talk about what we're grateful for and like the weather report, like how are you feeling, what's going on, what's up. And I got to share that with her in this cute town on this chilly, beautiful morning. And for that, I'm very grateful. This is this like living room set up in the middle of the park, this art, but it's all made of tiles. How cool is that? Just with this gorgeous backdrop. And this is where we were hiking along in the river and I was, I walked, it was like way over there. So I think it's worth noting that just because I'm on vacation, kind of, I'm like in a different environment, it doesn't take away all of your problems. And this trip in particular, I've had a really hard time settling and relaxing. And I felt nervous and uneasy. And so it's really required me to put all of my practices to use, right? Um, yoga, meditation, pulling cards, deep breathing, <clears throat> getting out in nature, like caring for my body, drinking enough water, eating good food. And it's been a bit of a struggle to just <sighs> feel like I'm here and I'm relaxed. So. You know, sometimes it's like that, and that's when I'm extra grateful for all the tools that I have to lean on, because you just never know, and never know what you're gonna get. These cards really spoke to me today. Oh, this year is the year of massive change and transformation for me. I know it, I feel it, I am it. My inner voice is constantly talking about sparkle and that's how it sees abundance. That's how it sees everything. It sees through the eyes of sparkle. And it's given me this example before that everything is sparkle, everything is abundant, everything is glittering. But humans, we have like glasses or goggles on that just block the sparkle. And as I was just laying outside with nature, I was closing my eyes, lying on a rock, just being really present and absorbing all. And I opened my eyes and suddenly saw, it was like I was looking through an Instagram filter that was glittering and I saw the sparkle kind of like little flickering dust particles, except I'm in the mountains and there is no dust out here. It was like I could see the stardust. I could see the glittering light. I could see everything through the eyes of my inner voice that I'd taken the glasses off and I could see clearly for the first time. And it lasted for a few moments. And then I blinked and came back too. And this was a very magical experience.